thing is that um, it's always not a good race for here for uh, Fujiwara in Doha, Qatar. He lost it to Kionari in the very last race um, in 2012. And last year, he also lost the title to Aslan in Doha, Qatar. So this year, he wants to make sure everything settled before going to Doha. So he's got two races today just to try and make a, an impact. Uh, Chang International Circuit. Circuit length is just over four and a half kilometers, 12 corners including that brutal, brutal last corner as they come in. And with the 600s, that's going to be a fascinating, remarkable piece of action for you to catch on to. Anyway, let's look at the front row of the grid. And this is Rataponga, a rare moment in the limelight for the, uh, the Thai rider. He's on the Thai Honda racing team, 22 years of age now. You look at those results throughout the season, and you know there's potential of fifth and a sixth in there. That's yeah, the best place for uh, Rataponga, Willarot. And the best result is fifth in Malaysia in the first race. So a good weekend uh, for the Thai riders. Uh, and it's good for the crowd as well with uh, Ratapong Vilarot, uh, another one of the famous uh, member of the family, Vilarot family in uh, Thailand. His brother Ratapak Vilarot is racing in, in the World GP in Moto2, if I'm not mistaken. And he's also a son of uh, a very famous father, and also a rider from Thailand. Christmas uh, Willarot, if I'm mistaken, his name. Hami Tazim, who's been around longer than he cares to admit this road <laughs> racing circuit. So we have saw Ratapong and a Thai 1-2 Jackrit, who has shown moments of real speed throughout the season. He will be sharing front row, front row of the grid on the bike number 91. A young rider from Thailand, up and coming rider, uh, another graduate uh, from the ADC, Jackrit Swangswat. And to be second on the grid here in Buriram is just like a dream come true for him. I'm sure that he wants to do really well in front of the Buriram uh, circuit and in front of his home crowd. And well, that will be difficult for them with the Fujiwara right beside them, but they will do their best. The Thai rider will do their best to be on the podium today. Jack Ritt has accumulated 60 points throughout the season without really threatening the podium. One podium finish and one DNF, but. This is good. He's 20 years of age. They made the move up to 600s. So second row, row on the grid. Hmm. Potential. Yes, potential indeed. Not a graduate from ADC, like I said. And Asia Dream Cup has come up with a good rider. Um, it's, a, it's a development program by Honda uh, for the young riders in Asia. And we saw some of them here. And we also have uh, the former champion Hiroki Ono in the Spanish championship doing very well there as well and will be racing in Moto2 next year in the, in the World GP. So this is the first step for all the riders, young riders in Asia to go up there. Hey, that's the first shot we've seen of that main grandstand. Very impressive it is too. And it's in Buriram Blue, as are our graphics. Now oh. then, this is Fujiwara. We like Fujiwara. <laughs> He's such a cool dude. Yeah. Uh, he's a very colorful character, Fujiwara, he is. And he's third on the grid. And it's very important for him uh, to get uh, the best results here, to make sure that by when they go to uh, Doha, it's all been settled, or at least he will be uh, not really pressuring him uh, in Doha, Qatar, because Doha is not really his favorite track after losing it twice to the Mushashi boys, Mushashi Honsu, uh, Bunsu Honda Racing Boys in 2012 and 13. You're really not giving a big send-up ahead of Qatar. And there he is with the Suzuki man who's going to be bringing Suzuki into the uh, championship next year. We've got some big news to tell you about a Suzuki series yeah. uh, for 150cc bikes. And also Suzuki joining the 600ccs in next season's Asia Road Racing Championship. So we've got the Kawasaki, the Suzuki, the Honda. And the That's, Yamaha. Yeah, that shows uh, the standard of the championship is going uh, very, is going up, is going high uh, this time because we have all the man manufacturers from uh, Japan, the Hondas, uh, the Yamaha, Kawasaki, and Suzuki putting their effort and money here in this championship. Okay, Ratapong on pole, Jackrit alongside him, Fujiwara, 39 years of age, doesn't act it. Yuki Ito uh, in the queue time on, in fourth, Zach Wanzaidi, time of 147.88, and. Uh, Tomoyoshi Koyama from Japan. Zamri Barber, remarkable performance from Zamri. Sutuhatai, the first of the ties. Apiwath in ninth. Tamada in tenth. Yudhisthira from Indonesia. Qualification time of 141.410. Whereas bike number 33 in Diwata in twelfth. The 
Malaysian, Farid Badrul, Fadli Imamudin. Badly on the Honda Astro, as is Dimaseki. Haslan Shah will be on the Kawasaki bike car to Makato Inagaki on the Yamaha. And Afif Amran, who's on row six, he's also on the uh, Yamaha Petronas Hongleong Yamaha. Ahmad Fuad, Anupad, one of the wild cards, as is Nakarin. They're on the seventh row of the grid. Nakarin, Honda AP, Honda Thailand. Anupad on the Yamaha. Anucha, the fourth of the wild cards. Mickey Blair from uh, Australia in the Finson Motorsports Yamaha. And Ifos Rianda in 24th place. Hudson Pitt on his own. Aussies haven't really made an impact in this Asia Road Racing Championships this season, but they keep on learning, they keep on turning up, they keep on tweaking. six riders in the one minute 40 second in qualifying time top six of them that another six in one minute 41 second so this is how close uh, between the top six riders so it's really battle between uh, ratapong jakrit fujiwara yuki sakwan and kuyama I'm not forgetting zambri baba it was seven on the grid 16 laps <coughs> of the track it's the green flag Walks along the, the back of the grid. The red flag will disappear. Then you'll have the red lights and then we will be underway. As we say, most of the racers are taking medium compound tires. Green flag, red flag, off the track. Red lights. And we are away. And that's a, a decent start from Ratapong and from Jackrit. Fujiwara trying to get a, a good line, but Fujiwara's been dropped down into fifth place, and that's a terrific start, I think, from Zach Wanzaidi. Fujiwara yeah. coming down the inside line. I think the good start by uh, Yuki Ito from the Petronas Hongyong Yamaha. He was uh, fourth on the grid, fourth on the grid in the second row, and is now leading the pack in front. There's a good start for, uh, by Yuki Ito from Japan. Indeed it is, Yuki Ito will be just trailing in the wake and just keeping a, a close eye on Jackrit, who's currently in second place, just being overtaken by Ratapong. Yeah, so the two ties got off to a decent start. But this is Zakwan Zaidi uh, in the little group behind the race leader and Fujiwara's also made a, a reasonable start as well. And still is Zeman Tong on the track and we have Fujiwara now managed to be uh, outside from the group and now in second place with uh, I think third place is now Zakwan Zaidi. Zakwan is third, Ratapong uh, and Jakrit is down to fourth and fifth. Uh, Tamada also in that group as well and Tamada or Zamri Baba. I'm not sure which uh, one of the Mushashi Bozu Honda riders because uh, I saw behind uh, number 59 is uh, one of the Mushashi riders. Let's be trying to see how Zamri Baba has made a start. I'm curious to see how he's going to cope as Fujiwara puts pressure on Yuki Ito. Ito still leading the way through lap number one of 16. Everyone takes a nice clean line. And Yuki Ito will lead the Supersport 600cc race number one. 15 laps still to go. Ito leads. Fujiwara second. It's a good start for uh, Japan. It's a 1 2 for them. Yeah, uh, the fan now. Cheering go for uh, number 91. That is um, number 91, Jacket. Jacket Swang Swat. He's currently third uh, in front of Zakwan Saidi down to fourth. Yes, it's Zamri Baba. Six is it was Zamri Baba that we saw just now in sixth place at the moment. 15 laps to go. Still early. And we have now still in the, the distance or the gap between riders is still quite close. But Yuki Ito now is now racing way in front. Yeah, Ito leads from Fujiwara. I think uh, Zamri Baba lost uh, a place on the last corner. He's dropped down now to seventh, but Zakon is in the mix there in fifth place. But still, it's Yuki Ito on the Yamaha. That's absolutely flying this rider, Yuki Ito. And he wants to continue what he had done in uh, Suzuka, winning the second race, now leading the first race here in Bujiram, Thailand. Uh, with 
not very far behind him is uh, quite lucky Fujiwara. And we know what Fujiwara can do. He's just following um, Yuki Ito. Will not let Fuji, uh, Yuki Ito go very far in front of him. And Zakuan has tried to make a move down the inside. Putting pressure on Fujiwara is Jackrit. So Fujiwara in second, Jackrit in third, and Zakuan in fourth. But all trailing Yuki Ito, who set a, a, a punishing pace as he slams down into second gear. Comes through to the finish line for the second time, 14 laps to go. And Yuki Ito still leads for Japan. Fujiwara Zakwan has overtaken Jackrit into third place. And that's the top five. Ito, Fujiwara Zakwan, Jackrit, Zambri, Ikoyama, Tamada. Oyudishitira, Ratapong, Apitat Watangdanon, the top ten. So Ratapong down to ten. Not really a good start for Ratapong, Awila Rod. The pole sitter for this race and a fastest one, yeah. lap from Zakwan Zaidia 148.63. So Zakwan, who has taken there Fujiwara as well, he's gone on the outside and Fujiwara, I think expecting any attack from the inside, but Fujiwara is now in third. But Ito has got himself quite a lead. He's certainly giving it his all in these early laps. Fujiwara, he's got as always, he's got the straight line speed to get the better of Zakwan, but a little encouragement there for Zakwan Zaidi. Jack, uh, Jackrit. In fourth. Yeah, we saw a quite a battle between uh, Zakwan and also uh, and, and Fujiwara because uh, at the moment we have uh, Zakwan's back in front of uh, Fujiwara. It's always uh, a long straight line, belongs to Fujiwara, but in the corner it's where uh, Zakwan's ready to make his move. And uh, But still very close between Zakwan, Fujiwara, and uh, uh, Jackie Strong Swat at third. So that's very close between this, this group for uh, battling for Pito behind behind Yuki Ito. And there is the battle for P2, Zakwan, Fujiwara and Jackrit with Zamri Barber showing no ill effects. Knee close to the ground from Zamri Barber, the back of that little group. Zakwan second, Fujiwara in third. Just keeping an eye on the Malaysian is the Japanese. There is Fujiwara in third place on the beat Kawasaki, but it'll be Ito, his Japanese compatriot who leads first. And there's no been, been no real dramas on that last corner because there haven't been too many uh, bikes going side by side going into it. It'll happen. Well, I did ask uh, Zamri Baba before the start of the race whether he can be in front uh, for Juara. He said it's going to be very difficult for him, but I'm sure that it's very modest of Zamri Baba to say that. His Tao currently is sixth and just right behind uh, Fujiwara and also Jakrit. And Yudhisthira has been making a move <coughs> as well. The Indonesian up into sixth place, set the fastest lap. But this is Ito still leading the way. Jakrit now into second ahead of Fujiwara. Well, Ito is uh, very fast uh, in this race weekend and in also in the um, practice session. Uh, but in the qualifying, at the very last minute when the two tie riders set a uh, blistering time, which is difficult for Ito and also other riders to catch them at the end of the qualifying session. But in this race right now, it shows that Yuki Ito has the strength for him to win race one. Fujiwara was going backwards there. And he's now dropped down into fourth place as Fujiwara. And Zamri Barber has been overtaken by uh, Yudhisthira. But behind them, all the changing is going on. Ito is working very nicely up at the front as we look at Suhatai, the tie for the very first time. And that's Suhatai jumps up uh, from a uh, a champion from uh, Thailand, number 82, and this is 59, the pole sitter, uh, Ratapot, uh, Wilarot, Ratapong Wilarot, which is down, I believe, in the tent uh, in the group. And now all eyes at the rider in front, uh, it is still Yuki Ito. What the race for Yuki Ito at the moment? Yeah, we are looking at the pole sitter here, Ratapong, who's struggling to keep with the fearsome pace being set by Yuki Ito in the Yamaha. Again, medium compound tyres. It's uh, a warm day out there. Ito leads. Zak on second. Jackrit ahead of Fujiwara. Yudhisthira has got ahead of Zamri Baba. That's the battle for six. As, uh, yeah, Koyama in seventh. Tomada and Ratapong, the pole sitter, down in ninth. He has improved that from tenth position. So we'll see the standing now. It is still Yuki Ito and Zakwan is at 0 0.8 seconds, not that far. And the gap at Zakwan and Jakri 0 0.2 seconds. So it's very close. So we have two, four, six, seven riders behind Yuki Ito. And also, Fujiwara and the green livery is under intense pressure from Yudhisthira.
Well, we know that Fujiwara is struggling uh, in the race weekend, in the practice session. But uh, I'm sure with his experience that he can do something in the race uh, like he did in the qualifying when he set the third fastest time. So it's still early. We have 12 laps to go. And we still are waiting for Fujiwara to make his move. At the moment now, this is a battle between... Is that Suhata? No, number 91. Oh, that is uh, Zakwan and Jakrit. Zakwan and yeah. Jakrit. Yeah. This is a battle for P2. Oh, nice little slide there from Zakwan. They love it. They just go from six down to second, maybe even first, going around that uh, that corner by 30 miles, uh, 30 miles an hour. Yeah. Yeah. This, uh, we have a, a little bit of gap, 0.7 seconds between Ito and Zakwan and Jakrit battling uh, for P2. Zakwan is looking. Uh, where is uh, Jakrit is very just right behind him, so it's not that far. Breathing on Zakwan's neck is Jakrit Swang Swang trying to make his move, and Jakrit now, I believe, in second place. Yeah, Jakrit's gone round him, but is he taking too wide around the hairpin? He's gone wide. Can he get on the inside? He's going to try and get on the inside, but he can't. So Jakrit in third. Zakwan holds on as we have a look at the earlier maneuver of Jakrit and the little side slide from Zakwan Zaidi. Tell you what, they've got to have immense confidence in their machines. So Jackrit and Zakwan, that's a, a cracking battle for second place. Jackrit just got himself ahead. Up front though, Ito is really making a, a mockery of this track because he's doing absolutely magnificent work ahead. But Jackrit has just got him in his sights. What that? That's a half a second, maybe three quarters of a second between first and second. Mohamed Zakon Zaidi in third on the Honda. Now, this is what uh, we've been saying all this while that uh, the Japanese, uh, experienced Japanese riders in ARRC, and it's given uh, some, uh, well, the give for the young riders like uh, Yuki Ito, uh, Zakwan Zaidi and Jackie Swangswan and they are now leading the race in front of Katsuaki Fujiwara. But there is Ito goes over the line. He's leading the way. 11 laps to go. There's still an awful long time to go, but it's rare to see this kind of gap establishing established so early on. Ito leads the way. Jackie Zakwan, Fujiyama, uh, Koyama, Yudhisthira, Tamada, Ratapong. And we've got our first casualty. And it's the Honda. That's bad news. 600cc, 10 laps to go. There's no time for any kind of errors. At the front end of the track. Again, yeah, that's riders good. being forced really, really wide. If you don't get your line of attack right on that that sharp right-hander, you are in trouble. It's lucky there's an awful lot of runoff track. Zakwan, Fujiwara, Koyama, Yudhisthira. I think it was Amri Baba who we saw uh, yeah. struggling just before. Indeed, it was Koyama fourth, Yudhisthira, Tamada, Ratapong, and Supertai. So Zamri Baba, he may be here, but his fitness is still suspect. Just having a look to see where Zamri is in the in the rate of reckoning of things. And he's quite a long way down. Zamri Barba now in 22nd place. Had a, a real problem. So that is uh, his advantage for Fujiwara, who is now currently uh, his uh, fifth, uh, fourth yeah, in the race. Currently, his P4 is Fujiwara, now riding behind uh, behind Zakwan and Jakrit, who had their own battle for P2. And Yuki Ito, well, has his own race of his own at the moment, 0.8 second. is maintaining his speed, maintaining the distance between him and the rider in P2. He certainly has. He's been there since uh, effectively the third yeah. corner of the race. Yuki Ito, uh, Jakrit second, Zakwan ahead of Fujiwara, Koyama. I'm still just to seeing if there's anything, any news of Zamri Barber. It looks like Zamri has actually pitted and will not be completing this race, which is bad news for Zamri Barber and Malaysia and awful news for his championship challenge. It means that Fujiwara almost has a free field. Any points he picks up now are gifts. Dao is uh, outside the podium position uh, behind uh, Jakri and Zakwan, but still close between him and uh, the two riders in front, and the battle is going on between them. 
uh, with these riders and this giving advantage for Yuki Ito to be in front. There is Amri Barber. You can tell just from the eyes, he's absolutely disconcert. I'm wondering if it's a mechanical problem or physical problem. We will we'll try and find out for you in between this and race number two. Uh, we can see that he's not really happy with his uh, condition. And he's back on the race and it is Makoto Tamada. Tamara is uh, helping, is trying to help Zamri and also Zakwanzari to be in front of uh, Fujiwara. That's the best thing they can do right now to help uh, uh, Zamri Baba to, if they want still uh, to fight for the title for this year. There is Koyama in fifth place as they cross the start finish line for the, um, well, we're halfway through the race now exactly, and Yuki Ito has been leading since lap number one. He still leads into lap number eight. Jackrit, who was on the front row, he's been there or thereabouts as well. It's been positive. Zakwan's solid. Uh, Fujiwara, is he just holding uh, back a little something, Fujiwara? Although he's coming under intense pressure here from Koyama as they come into the hairpin bend. And Koyama goes around Fujiwara. Koa Koyama into fourth. Fujiwara under pressure from Frith from Yudhisthira. Yeah, this is what uh, they've been saying to me, that the, the way that uh, Koyama handled uh, the corner is very different uh, from uh, any other riders. He looks very smooth, very comfortable at the corner, and this is where he will have that advantage. And just shown just that after overtaking uh, Fujiwara. Now, Koyama is now uh, behind uh, Zakwan and also uh, Jakrit. So Jakrit leads the way. We saw once again Z Zakwan not averse to letting the back wheel slide just a little bit. Putting complete trust in his machine. This is the battle for P4, which is led by uh, Fujiwara in bike 37. Close up to him is, well, it's not Koyama. Close up to him is Yudhisthira because Koyama's going ahead of Fujiwara. That was a battle for P5 as Ito leads from Jack Ritam, Zakwan, and Fujiwara and Koyama battling for fourth. Yudhisthira in sixth. There is Fujiwara got back into fourth place. That's a. Uh, a little bit of off-camera skullduggery from the experienced Fujiwara. Uh, yes, I'm taking uh, number 33, that is Asia Yudhishitira. And this is interesting because seven laps to go, and most of them are using medium tyre compound, and it is when they start to lose the creep. So it's going to be difficult for them to maintain the speed, and it's uh, going to be difficult for Fujiwara to get the speed that he needed uh, to go in front and to be on the podium. OK, as they come to the furthest part of the track, deep into the countryside, comfortable lead still for Yuki Ito. It's more than a second, 1.2 seconds he's pushed it up to. Jack Ritz, Zakwan, Koyama and Fujiwara all in fairly close pursuit. Fujiwara under pressure from Yudhisthira. That long second straight and is Yudhisthira able to get past? He is indeed. Yudhisthira now up into fifth. Fujiwara has gone from third down to sixth. I always ask with Fujiwara, is he holding something back? You suspect not on this occasion. I don't think so because he, he still uh, see, look like struggling uh, in the race weekend. Perhaps he's still looking for the right and set up and the bike is uh, chattering in, in, the, uh, in the practice session and he's, he's still lacking. Uh, there's something lacking in his bike that he always had an advantage over the other riders. So now, he's, as, as we can see now, actually, Yurisi Tira uh, overtook um, uh, Fujiwara and he's now currently down to sixth. The sixth. Indeed, he is. At the front end, Ito is going from strength to strength. It was 1.22 at the end of lap number nine. What is it as we come into lap number 10? We'll find out in a moment. Oh, oh. gone a long way around uh, Yudhisthira. That's the, the problem with that V curve. You get it wrong, you get the wrong line, you're in trouble. So Ita leads 1.38 ahead of Zakwan. Koyama, Fujiwara gifted fifth place from Yudhisthira. Tamada seventh, Ratapong eighth, Suta, Suhatai in ninth. Well, that's the benefit of uh, experience. And when uh, he's been pressured by Fujiwara, he made a mistake there. A uh, very uh, costly mistake. And Fujiwara overtook him to regain his fifth place. Well, at the top end, that's a, a real gift for Fujiwara. We are keeping a, an eye on him because he is the championship leader. And at the moment, he's just trying to ease himself back into the reckoning. This is Apiwath, we're watching. We're a little bit further down. This, this is the battle for 10th. Uh, Apiwath in 10th. Good to see some of the wild cards having a, a crack. 
Up at the top end, this is still Apiwath, and it's a good battle for 10th. Apiwath, along with Farid Badrul and Fadli Imamudin, uh, 10th, 11th, and 12th, respectively. So battles within battles all the way down. Threes and threes and threes. Uh, it's better be 10, 11, and 12th. But it's in front that they're interested more with uh, Fujiwara, who's without. Uh, he is trying to get as uh, much as point as he can before going to Doha. And fifth place, he's tight. And I think he's uh, back in front of Fujiwara. He is indeed. Yes. Yudhisthira has got the head of uh, Fujiwara, and Fujiwara under pressure from um, Tamada as well. Yes, as you can see that, uh, and I believe that uh, um, Fujiwara is still losing the speed that he needs. And perhaps the, the tyre has, has gone out, and that's the, the problem well, for Fujiwara right now. Um, he's, well, this is supposed to be good for Zamri Baba. He's still in the race, but Zamri is Zamri's out. Not Zamri out went, went race, after so. six laps. He's gone. So this is Ratapong, who was the original pole setter. Chasing that battle. And yes, you, you look, we just saw there the, the green livery of uh, Fujiwara had been overtaken by Tamada. So it's getting worse and worse for the championship leader. It's getting better and better, though, for Koyama and Ito. Ito leads. Koyama has now posted the, sec uh, the fastest lap and is really putting pressure on the slip-sliding Zakwanzaidi. He's loving that back-end slide, isn't he? Yeah, this is a battle between the more experienced rider, Koyama, and the young rider, uh, Zakwanzaidi, together with Jacqueline Sanswa. This is very interesting. But And uh, the, the gap between uh, Ito and also the group behind is now increasing to 1.6 seconds. That shows how fast Yuki Ito is doing right now. Using the full width of the track onto the apron as well, which isn't really what they're meant to be doing. But Zakwan, this will be a really good test for Zakwan Zaidi. He's only a teenager. It's been a great learning experience. This is him under concerted, consistent pressure. Is he able to hold off the experience, Koyama and Jakrit? Uh, the three riders now battling for um, the last two spots on the podium. Is between Zakwan, Koyama, and uh, Jakrit Swangswat. And it looks now like Koyama and Zakwan were battling hard for second and third. So these two are an advantage over Jackie Sangswat. Ito's lead is 1.686 seconds from Zakwan Zaidi. Tomayashi Kuyama is third. Jakrit, the tie is fourth. Yudhisthira fifth. Tamada sixth. Fujiwara seventh. And will find himself under pressure from Ratapong for even seventh place. This is very unlike Fujiwara, but he is getting three points here. Zamri Baba forced out. Now then, here's Yudhisthira. This is fifth place. Tamada sixth, Fujiwara seventh. Fujiwara, bike number 37. Yudhisthira on the Kawasaki. His, his is performing quite nicely, so why is Yudhisthira performing well? And, and um, Tamada, uh, not Tamada, um, Fujiwara, Fujiwara struggling. Yeah, struggling. At, it seems to be uh, something is not quite right for Fujiwara. So I believe the setup of the bike or the tire usage, not really sure what's, hap what's happening on um, no, Fujiwara. We'd love to find out because we know Fujiwara is the rider uh, that will be in front of the group all the time. But now he seems he's, he's even a struggler to, to, to overtake the two riders in front of him, Tamada and also Eche Yudhishitira. That was the battle for P5 and Fujiwara. You never write this fella off though. He has got so much ability and has been there or thereabouts in every race of the season as they come into this sharp right hander. Four laps to go. Yudhisthira banks down over the start finish line. Three laps to go. Yudhisthira way in the distance is Yuki Ito. 2.144 seconds. We've not seen that kind of leading margin all season in Supersport 600cc. Well, the last time I saw that uh, was about two years ago uh, during uh, uh, Fujiwara's time and this is something new for us, even by Yuki Ito's standard. It is very, very far in front of the group. And uh, there is uh, Jackie Swangswat, who just made his move uh, to be second. He overtook the two riders in front. Oh, no, that's Koyama. So Koyama Sorry, second, Koyama. Jackie third, and Zakwan goes from second to fourth just on one corner. He just went slightly wide. He let the two inside, and we were talking about the experience. Zakwan has been caught out for a little bit of inexperience there. One mistake, and it could cost him seriously important championship points. 
is at the technical part of the circuit and now it's going to be hard work for Zakwan Zaidi, the two riders in front, uh, Jackie Swangswat, a rider who knows the track better, uh, then the rest of the rider in front and Koyama who had the experience now leading this group. Here's the overtaking maneuver, Zakwan went wide and that allowed one through and then Jackra came through on the inside as well and Zakwan just had to take evasive action just to make sure he didn't catch Zakrit. That's a good maneuver from Zakrit, uh, Jakrit. So there's second, third, fourth. So Koyama second, Jakrit, Swang Swat third, and Zakwan Zaidi in fourth place with two laps to go. Well, this is the real battle because I'm sure that Jakrit Swang Swat wants to be on the podium today and to make sure that he stays third. But uh, as we can see now, Zakwan is pushing very, very hard behind Jackie Swangswat with Koyama in second place. Very, still very close within these, these three riders in the, the second group because Yuki Ito is currently 2.3 seconds in front of them. Indeed, Yuki Ito, this is his race to lose. No mistakes and he will pick up the victory. Who will take second and third though? Koyama, Jackrit and Zakwin in that order. Behind them, Yudhisthira, Fujiwara and Tamada. Tamada's in fifth, he's got ahead of Yudhisthira. This is turning out to be a decent day for the Japanese, apart from Fujiwara. Yeah, it's a good race for Koyama. Um, uh, he had a problem with his bike yesterday during uh, practice and qualifying, but it looks like it's okay right now. But uh, Jackie Swangshua is pushing behind him real hard, and it's, it's like a, now there's a gap between uh, Jackie Swangshua and uh, Zakwan Zaidi. Well, there's the race leader, his to lose. And it's been a, a start to finish performance from UK Ito. The likes of not, we, we've not seen so far this season. The battle for second is far more intense. Zakwan Zaidi will be kicking himself because he had control of second place. And then that one error, Jackrit makes an aggressive move and goes into second place, head of Koyama. Jackrit takes second, Koyama third. Zakwan putting pressure on the Japanese, but what a move from Jackrit Swangswat. So Jackrit now in second place, and we saw now how Zakwan is watching closely what happened in front of him and he will try to take the advantage that uh, Jackrit did uh, before that. So this is what Zakwan is trying to do. Tie compounds coming into their own now. We're into the final lap. Ito, his to lose. But this is a real battle for second. Jackrit, Koyama and Zakwan Zaidi. There's barely, well, quarter of a second between them. This is where the error happened in the previous Lap and Zakwan takes the inside. Zakwan goes from fourth. Can he hold on? Zakwan Zaidi tries to get in. He can't hold on. It's Koyama, Jackrit, and Zakwan going wheel to wheel. But in the end, it is <laughs> Koyama who holds on to second place. My word, what a great move from Zakwan Zaidi. Uh, it's still very close between these three riders, and this, any three of them can be the, the last two. Uh, on the podium, and uh, now it's still uh, Koyama. He's, he's getting an all advantage with uh, Jackrit pushing hard behind him, and Zakwan, one, one more move from uh, Zakwan, that's it, that's the last in this uh, technical part, because they're going to a few more corners before the end of the race. Uh, but the end of the race has got that incredible V-curve, and we can expect some serious attempts to try to pick up points there. Because they'll all pick up points, these three. It just depends how many they'll get. Yuki Ito will pick up the full 25 points. It's been a wonderful performance from Yuki Ito. As he goes round the final corner, Ito takes it. It's uh, 25 points of Ito. Who's behind him in second? Uh, it's a battle which Zakwan Zaidi has taken second. Koyama third. Jack Ritt for Zakwan coming through on that last corner. Got his line perfectly right. Yudhisthira 5, Ratapong 6, Tamada 7, and Fujiwara 8. Last lap has seen changes galore, Hami. Yeah, indeed, and you just you just say just right just now, the last uh, corner will uh, determine between the three riders who will be second and third. And Zakwan, who was fourth the last time we saw him, and then, well, what a race for Zakwan. Second in the race, in race one, Super Sport 600cc with Koyama third. Well, well, well. Ito, comprehensive victory. But what goes on after that? Zamri Barber out after six laps. 
Zakwan taking an excellent 20 points because he'd lost it. He had control of second, then he lost it, and then he won it again on that notorious last corner. Official results, UK Ito in a time of 26.52.948. 2.65 seconds ahead of Zakwan Zaidi. Koyama third, Jakrit fourth. Looking further down, Fujiwara will pick up points, but not as many as he would have hoped. Suhatai is uh, for Thailand the second who came in ninth place. Fadli Mahmoudin getting in a top 10 place. Apiwath, keen to see what happened and where Zamri Baba actually went out. Mikey Blair, 19th position for, for Blair. Diamaseki, never really competing today. But with so much excitement at the top, do forgive us for not focusing on some of the lower placings. Hudson Pitt, 21st. Nakarin, Zamri, six laps. We saw his, um, his problems. Ifos went out after one lap, and Inagaki didn't even get a start. Um, yeah, there's a fence, a Yamaha fence on the grandstand. It's his first championship victory of the season. He's had two second-place finishes. Um, sorry, well, it's his second, second championship. Yeah, he back-to-back back after Suzuka. So he suddenly becomes a contender if he can continue this kind of form. Uh, something, that, uh, uh, something that we didn't see early part of the season, Yuki Ito. But we know he's the, the type of rider that uh, he, can do, he can do well. He, he can uh, give some surprises. Um, with uh, Fujiwara struggling here uh, this weekend, and uh, Zabri Baba is still not really fit, and we really not uh, still uh, don't know what happened uh, to his bike in race one. So it's all for Yuki Ito right now. It's really, uh, something uh, the surprising uh, to see that he can do that. But uh, it is a Yuki Ito widow. He's a he's a young and talented rider from uh, Japan. Um, well, he got the advantage because of the battle going on behind him between Jakrit, uh, Zakwan, and uh, uh, Koyama, and also uh, Fujiwara at one time. So that gives advantage uh, for him to run away. Tanaseri Chan Vitarion from the Chang International Circuit is the man handing out the prizes to Koyama, who had a battle royal. That race for second was, was terrific, and the fact that a Thai Jackrit missed out is, yep. is, is not great for the home fans, but what great racing it was. Zakwan Zaidi pinching it back on the very last corner. Yeah, Zakwan is after winning the Malaysian Cup pre title in the Premier category last weekend. To be second in this race is, is really special for him. And this is the man, Yuki Ito, back to back uh, win after winning the second race in Suzuka. In he really, he's really, really happy. A happy man on the podium. Indeed. Indeed. As he should be, because it brings him into the championship picture. And this is for the team award. And Michael is accepting the team award for, on behalf of Petronas Hongyong Yamaha team. And still, <laughs> Yuki Ito is dancing away on, on the podium. Confirmation, Ito from Japan, Mohamed Zakon Zaidi. How? I don't know. <laughs> because <laughs> cause we were so busy watching Ito that he must have got his line just absolutely perfect coming into the to the V-curve. Yeah, perhaps the battle between the Koyama and uh, Jakrit, and uh, it gives the uh, advantage for uh, Zakwan, as we saw in under bowling category when Ahmad Fazli Sham, when he's trying to push the, the rider beside him out, and that's when the other rider can come in and to take advantage. And this is where uh, Afendi Rosli came in to take advantage. Perhaps that's what happened just now, because we saw how close Koyama and also Jakrit, and, and that's it coming to the last corner. And that's where Zakwan Zaidi to the advantage. This is how the championship looks in the 600cc Super Sports. Fujiwara still leads, but Ito now up to second, just 24, five, 25 points adrift. Zakwan comes into reckoning at a, a further six points down. Tamada's not too far off. Even Zamri at 41 points adrift. He can't be written off completely because Fujiwara struggled today. And there's 75 points still up for grabs. A little bit further down, and you look at uh, Inagaki, who didn't get get off the um, grid today. Pirawat in 16th, Suhatai in 17th, just giving an uh, eye out on the uh, the Thai riders. But the Japanese, they'll be happy with their work today, Ito in particular. And further down the line, points have been picked up. 
throughout the season. Pullamai would have been fun to have in this part of part of the world, but not to be here. Patrick Olsen, Aaron Morris, these are the various competitors who've uh, uh, ridden in one or two of the events so, so far this season.